Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to see another block diagram reduction problem. To start with, it is mandatory to know the block diagram reduction rules. So here I had given the link in the description. Kindly have a view of the video and then you can solve the problem easily. The problem is using block diagram reduction technique, find the transfer function C of S by R of S for the system shown in figure. So this is our given block diagram and in this block diagram R of S is the input and C of S is the output, right? And your step one is rearranging the branch point. So here when you look at the problem carefully, you see the output from G4 is taken and to this line here H1 and H2 are connected and again this is given as input to the sum. Right, so here G4 is the feed forward element and this H1, H2 is the feedback element. Right, so here I have drawn it separately. That is the output from G4 is taken and to this line H1 and H2 are connected and finally this H1, H2 are connected to this summing point 3 which is present before G4. Similarly, the output from G4 is taken and H1, H2 are connected and the output from these are is connected to the same summing point 3, right? So, here I have just redrawn the diagram. That's it. And the next one is, again, the output from this G4 is taken and it is directly get connected to the summing point 2. Similarly, here the output from G4 is taken and this is connected to this summing point 2 here right so our step one is just I have redrawn the given problem that's it okay nothing more than that now we are going to see our step two so our step two is combining blocks h1 and h2 in series so here when you look we are having these two blocks right h1 h2 so these two blocks are in series so when these two are combined we will be having h1 h2 that's it. Right. And next one is step number 3. Eliminating the feedback loop. So from this diagram it is clear right. G4 is the feed forward element. H1, H2 is the feedback element. And again the type of feedback is negative. So here I have drawn this one separately. See what is the formula in order to solve a negative feedback. It is G divided by 1 plus GH. This is your basic formula. So again here in the place of G I am having G4 and in the place of H I am having H1, H2. Just substitute these values in this expression. So G in the place of G, G4 divided by 1 plus again in the place of G I am having G4 and in the place of H I am having H1, H2. So here write it accordingly. So this is our answer. So I, I am writing it in this block here. Now this feedback loop is reduced to this single block. Right. So this is our step number 3. And the next one is moving the branch point 1 after the block G3. So here this is our branch point 1. And I am going to move this branch point 1 after this block. So whenever we are moving a branch point after a block, I have to include the reciprocal of the element present in this block to this line, which I am moving, right? So here, the branch point from here is moved here. So I have included the reciprocal of the element here, which is nothing but 1 by G3, right? Hope you are clear with this. Then the next step is combining blocks in cascade. So now listen, G2, G3 are in series combination and again 1 by G3 and H4 are in series combination. So just combine these two blocks, we will be having G2, G3 and when you combine these two blocks, you will be having H4 by G3. Right, so this is our step number 5. Now the next one is moving the branch point after the block. Again, I am going to move the branch point from here to here. So, whenever a branch point is moved after a block, I have to include the reciprocal of the element which is present in this block. Right. 
so here the branch point is moved from here to here so the reciprocal of this block will be 1 plus g4 h1 h2 divided by g4 so i have included this block to this branch point which is moved after this block right this is our step number 6 and the next one is combining blocks in cascade so when you observe here you see these two blocks are in series connection and again these two blocks are in series connection so just you can combine these blocks when you combine you will be having g2 g3 g4 divided by 1 plus g4 h1 h2 right so this is the respective block and again when you combine these two elements here you will be having h4 into 1 plus g4 h1 h2 divided by g3 g4 right so this is our step number 7 and the next step is eliminating the feedback loop so here from the diagram it is clear that this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback element and again the type of feedback will be positive so here i have drawn it separately so what is the procedure what is the general formula so this is your basic formula right g divided by 1 minus g h so again in the place of g i am having this element and the place of h i am having this element just substitute the values that's it g divided by 1 minus g into h right in the place of h i am having h3 so just i am substituting the next one is taking lcm so when you take lcm the numerator part you write as such divided by here you have to multiply this element with this one here right so when you multiply you will be having 1 plus g4 h1 h2 minus here this element g2 g3 g4 h3 the whole thing divided by 1 plus g4 h1 h2 that's it again here the denominator terms are same so we can cancel that one and the remaining element will be g2 g3 g4 divided by this term okay you write it as it is now this feedback loop is eliminated so here this is the expression i have got after eliminating this loop so here i am writing this expression as such right the next step is i am going to interchange the summing point that is interchanging the summing point is let this be your summing point 1 and let this be your summing point 2 now these two are getting interchanged so here what happens 2 comes here and 1 goes here so again we have interchange in the summing point which is nothing but you see to the summing point 2 i am having a unity feedback right again to the summing point 2 i am having the same unity feedback and again to the summing point 1 i am having this element and again to the summing point 1 i am having the same element okay you should draw this one carefully that's it and the next step is hope you people know again these two blocks are in series connection so series is nothing but just you have to multiply so when you multiply your expression will be you will be having expression as this one g1 g2 g3 g4 divided by and again that is a feedback here right hope you have seen that too so these two blocks are get combined and here you are having a feedback right and the type of feedback is negative feedback so here i have drawn that one separately okay this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback element so this is your g and this is your h so what is the basic formula the basic formula is nothing but g divided by 1 plus g h right now substitute the values accordingly so here you will be having g1 g2 g3 g4 by 1 plus g4 h1 h2 minus g2 g3 g4 h3 okay this is your g divided by 1 plus again g so write it 1 plus g4 h1 h2 minus g2 g3 g4 h3 right so 1 plus g h in the place of h i am having this expression so you just write it so h4 into 
1 plus G4 H1 H2 the whole term divided by G3 G4 right so here this G3 G4 and this G3 G4 will cancel each other and our final expression will be just you have to take LCM so when you take LCM so this will uh, this seems to occupy more space so I am writing over here so next step will be G1 G2 G3 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 H2 minus G2 G3 G4 H3 the whole term divided by here just you have to take LCM so when you take LCM you have to multiply this term with this one so you will be having 1 plus G4 H1 H2 minus G2 G3 G4 H3 right plus you have to include this term so you will be having G1 G2 H4 into 1 plus G4 H1 and H2 right again this whole term will be divided by 1 plus G4 H1 H2 minus G2 G3 G4 and H3 again these two denominator terms are equal and they cancel each other and here we will be having our final answer as G2 G3 sorry G1 G2 G3 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 H2 minus G2 G3 G4 H3 plus G1 G2 H4 into 1 plus G4 H1 H2. So this will be our final expression after reducing this feedback loop. So just write down the expression over the diagram here. So here you will be having I am writing the expression G1 G2 G3 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 H2 minus G2 G3 G4 H3 plus G1 G2 H4 into 1 plus G4 H1 and H2 right. So this is your feed forward element and this is your respect to feedback right. Now if you have a feedback with no element we have to consider here as a we are having an element with a unity feedback. So here I have to consider an element with the value 1. And again the type of feedback is negative. So now we have to reduce this loop. So reducing this loop is again since the terms are bigger we can solve it in a first page. So this is our expression. So I have, let me draw here separately. So this is our expression and here I am having a unity feedback element and the type of feedback is negative feedback right so this is your r and this is your c so when you solve this expression again the basic formula will be here the basic formula will be g by 1 plus g h right so in the place of g i am having this one so just substitute the values that's it we will be having the expression so when you substitute you will be having g1 g2 g3 g4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 H2 minus G2 G3 G4 H3 plus G1 G2 H4 into 1 plus G4 H1 H2. So this is your G. So G divided by 1 plus G H. Again in the place of G I am having G1 G2 G3 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 H1 H2 minus G2 G3 G4 H3 plus G1 G2 H4 into 1 plus G4 H1 H2. So again in the place of H I am having a unity feedback element so multiplied by 1. So again when you take LCM you will be having the expression as G1, G2, G3, G4 
okay divided by this one h1 h2 minus g2 g3 g4 h3 plus g1 g2 h4 into 1 plus g4 h1 h2 the whole divided by just take lcm so when you take lcm you will be having 1 plus g4 h1 h2 minus g2 g3 g4 h3 plus g1 g2 h4 into 1 plus g4 h1 h2 plus g1 g2 g3 g4 and here again the entire term will be divided by 1 plus g4 h1 h2 minus g2 g3 g4 h3 plus g1 g2 g4 into 1 plus g4 h1 h2 right so here again here the both the denominator terms are same so they will cancel each other and our final output will be our final expression will be that is c of s by r of s will be g1 g2 g3 g4 the whole divided by 1 plus g4 h1 h2 minus g2 g3 g4 h3 plus g1 g2 h4 into 1 plus g4 h1 h2 plus g1 g2 g3 g4 so this is our final answer this is our required transfer function hope you understand this problem clearly thank you